Hello everyone. Hi. Uh, once again, thank you for checking out my YouTube channel. I wanted to say I'm very, very grateful and appreciative that you guys would come back and kind of get to hear about a few of the things that I have to say. What's very crucial about today is that I gave you guys a little story about my life and how things changed for me. One of the things that I also shared with you guys was how real estate investing was very important and very helpful towards my journey. So today I want to go ahead and talk to you guys a little bit about how you can build some passive income for yourself and, you know, making sure that now utilizing the things that you've learned from either be it real estate, be it the tech industry, be it anything that gives you the ability to make money while you sleep is something that you're not able to follow through. So before we even dive into that, the first thing that I want to go ahead and talk to you guys about today is your mindset. Because outside of making sure that you have the right mindset and you have the ability to think like a millionaire, act like a millionaire, see yourself as a millionaire, it's practically impossible for you to get to that point. Uh, I know a lot of people say, you know, it's very hard to make a million dollars and I can agree to an extent. But it's only hard because you think it's hard, right? So your thought process is really what drives and governs everything that goes on in your life. When I was in a position where I wasn't doing well for myself, I wasn't making a lot of money, I was struggling. And like I told you guys, when my mom was de dead, I couldn't bury my mom, I couldn't afford to do it. I can rest assure you that my mindset was strictly focused on what I did not have. So I had a lack mindset. Now, one thing about most of most people is we see what's right in front of us, right? So if you woke up tomorrow and you looked at your bank account and what you saw in your bank account was a hundred dollars, you, you know, um, I can rest assure you that you, it's hard for you to think of yourself as a millionaire when all you see in your account is a hundred dollars and you probably don't know if you're ever going to get, you know, another check. Now, it's worse when you don't know if you're going to get your next check from. But for some of us, we're in a position where we have a job where, you know, in nine to five, we work, wake up every morning, log into our computers for work, or we have to get in our cars and drive 10, 15, 30 miles to an office for a job. Um, and we know what our paycheck's going to look like. Now, when you're in that kind of a position, it's practically impossible for you to even see or think of yourself as being a millionaire because you are only able to kind of see what's coming into your, uh, you know, your pockets, what's coming into your paycheck or through your paycheck into your bank account and things like that. So I want to talk to you guys a little bit about, first of all, breaking that habit, right? So it first starts with you. I can rest assure you that it's really, really hard to break the habit, but once you get through the, once you're able to break through and get to the other side, there's a huge possibility. Now, again, is it a hundred percent guarantee that every single person who does this is going to be successful? I, I mean, I'm going to say yes, right? Because as you think, as you believe is how it happens to you. But now is it, a, is it also a hundred percent possibility that everybody who hears this is going to do this? That's where the, that's where, you know, the hard part is. So first thing I'm going to say is start to think of yourself as a millionaire, start to believe in yourself, start to see the results before the results get here. And I can rest assure you that that's what happens next. So a little bit about how that happened for me. Um, you know, when I was in the position where I couldn't bear my mom, when I said I made the decision to never be broke again, nothing had changed on my external world. Everything was still relatively the same. It wasn't that I had all of a sudden, because I made that decision on a Monday, come Tuesday, I was able to find a deal to close. Absolutely not. Uh, actually, if on the contrary, when that happened, everything that was contrast, which is what I didn't want was actually what came my way. So I ended up finding myself in a position where you know, things got a little bit harder. Uh, you know, the calls from the people who I owed money to as far as collection agencies and things like that, instead of making those calls even more frequent, uh, I was in a place where all I, all I had to do was to think back like I thought in the past, but I had the belief and I said, this is something I wanted to do. I had done enough study. I'd done enough mind work. And now with mind work, that's a very, very crucial part of this process, right? So with doing the mind work, I was now able to believe in myself and say, you know what? My external situation does not represent what my true ideal reality is. So by being able to see that, 
then the first deal came when that first deal came it gave me confidence to say say okay the next one is going to be able to come because i was able to create this first one and guys now i'm in a position where i can talk to you guys about this i can you know share my story with you guys i can help you guys with the strategies that helped me but i can rest assure you that without the first step which is that mind work that rest of the rest of the stuff is really you know very very hard for you guys to do and i can even tell you this right so some people might be still able to make money from the strategies that i teach but there's also a chance that because your mindset hasn't changed you're always going to find yourself back to where you started so it always again starts with the mindset uh, tony robbins uses a very 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 good analogy and i think you know it applies to every single thing that i've done in my life going forward and i use this as a guide one of the things that he says is that when it comes to our lives our lives is like a thermostat right so your thermostat is set for a certain certain point in my case my thermostat was set at fifty thousand dollars it didn't matter if I got a job that paid me a little over $50,000, I always found myself back at $50,000. So one of the first things I had to do was work on my mindset and change my thermostat, erase my thermostat to be able to say, okay, what would be my baseline? What would it be that if I didn't get paid this amount, then things would probably not really go well for me. And I had to set that kind of pressure on myself. And now by doing that, it was hard at first, but I can promise you that I found myself in a position where my thermostat now went up to 125,000 and then from 125,000 to 150,000, meaning if I wasn't making 150,000 in a year, I felt very uncomfortable. And this is within a span of three years, right? So what I'm saying is that process can change for you very quickly, but you have to be willing to change the process. So. That's the most important part when it comes to building your wealth, your income is your mindset. And then the second thing that I want to discuss with you guys about today is passive income versus active income, right? So a lot of us, you know, make, some of us make very good money. National average in, you know, pay has increased greatly from five years ago. Uh, people are now making upwards of, you know, two double digits and when it comes to this base salary. Uh, I even know that Target had come out with an article the other day saying that it was increasing its minimum wage for its workers to $24 an hour. Uh, Amazon pays $20 an hour. So a lot of people now make the kind of money that five to 10 years ago was the money where people that worked in the bank like myself were actually making as banker pay, right? So what I'm saying is there's now an influx of income that's coming to society. But with that has also come something that a lot of us are starting to notice and a lot of us are starting to worry about, which is inflation, right? So now if you're able to, in the past, you were able to buy a gallon of milk for $1.99 I know there were times that it had kind of gone up to two ninety nine, and everybody was so nervous about it. But now you should expect to pay anywhere between three to four dollars for a gallon of milk, four to five dollars for a gallon of gas. Uh, and again, people wonder and say, "Well, why was this the case? Why are we going through this?" The only reason is because active income has increased for a lot of folks, right? And as active income increases, so does inflation. Now there is something that never that is never affected by inflation, and that is what's called passive income. When you have passive income, inflation no longer becomes a huge obstacle in your life if you set yourself up the right way. Now, this is the beauty about real estate and investing in real estate is for a real estate investor, we welcome inflation, right? We want the inflation because inflation helps us with growing our net worth. Let me give you an example as to how that works. So for a person who actually works, uh, who has, who owns maybe five rental properties, in like kind of in my case so if you own a few rental properties what happens is when i and i'll give you guys a, a exact example in this case right so i i had a duplex in tarot that i started with when i first bought my first property that property i was actually making from that property one thousand four hundred and twenty five dollars from both units my two bedroom side was paying me eight hundred dollars a month my one bedroom side was paying me six hundred and twenty five dollars a month so when I did math on both of that, that comes out to $1,425 a month. When I bought the property, my rental, my uh, mortgage was at $1,300 and my maintenance for my, uh, the guy to cut my lawn was at $40 a month. 
So my total mortgage cost was thirteen forty. Now, fast forward to twenty twenty two, that one apart that one multifamily property, that one duplex, I'm getting twelve hundred dollars from one side, and the the one the, from the two bedroom side, and from the one bedroom side, I'm getting about eight hundred thirty five dollars a month. Now I'm making almost two. I'm actually making two thousand and thirty five dollars a month. That's a six hundred dollar increase from 2019 to 2022. Now, you guys can see just from that example how how welcome in inflation is to a real estate investor. So, when a person who makes active income, you get a 5% raise. If you even if you made $500,000 a year, right? 5% is $5,000 annual and that's all you're going to get increased in your salary right so now if you divide that number that's less than 50 that's maybe forty four hundred dollars that's about four hundred dollars extra a month and that's on a very very high level right most employers are giving you two and a half maybe even one percent raises and most employers are not even giving you anything so when you're in the case where you're getting active income and you're focused on active income and you're making your money from active income when things like inflation come in you are have no protections whatsoever you don't have the ability to go back and say hey i have a way to be able to still make more money it's like i explained in my my situation yes things have gone up gas is more expensive food is more expensive but you know one thing that hasn't changed my mortgage payment hasn't necessarily changed and because my mortgage payment hasn't changed my income has increased now granted it's only six hundred dollars on just that one property but multiply that multiply that by five right multiply that by ten and the more you kind of increase that the more you kind of see that you get nothing but an increase in your income when you have passive income versus active income so again guys this is why i, I think it's very very important for us um, as individuals as human beings to strive to find ways to get passive income in my case i was fortunate i was blessed to be able to get this through real estate investing i think that you guys can get the same level of act uh, passive income if you make the right decisions again you start to change your mindset start to believe in that you can do it right i can press to show you 100 you know, of you guys watching this video today I can promise you one thing, if you made the decision right now and you said you wanted to be wealthy and that was a decision that you made and you said nothing was going to stop you. If you looked in, if you looked around and it was your kids, it was your wife, it was your dog, it was your mom, whoever it is that you look at and you say, I need to be wealthy for this person. Once that decision is something that you make. I am going to promise you something and that is you will become wealthy and the reason is because if you hold on to that belief and you hold on to that dream and you refuse to let anything shake you or move you off that path there is no way that nothing but success is what's going to come your way so once again think about the passive income there are multiple ways to make passive income real estate investing is not the only way to make passive income but real estate investing is the way that I made my passive income so I want to be able to share that got knowledge with you guys I want to be able to help you guys be more successful give me give me a chance to talk to you guys more about this I have some videos I have some courses I have some approach some things that can help you show you the way that I did it and I'm sure there are other ways that you guys can do it too if there's the, that's the way that works for you. But I can show you my way and I can rest assured you that my way works. Thank you for taking the time to listen to this video. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And I'll be providing you guys way more content and also giving you guys as much knowledge as I can. Thank you again.